Hello and welcome to Bike Nation. I'm Bryn Lucas. Now in front of me, I've got a fantastic helmet. This is the Shark Evoline Series 3. This design, the color scheme is called the Hacker. It is a closed helmet, as you can see, a full face helmet, but it's got a party piece. It, it does this. Oh, yes. Turns into an open face helmet as well. It's packed full of features. Let's have a look at it. Now, before we have a look at this helmet and have a look at all the different features, check out Bike Nation. You'll see loads of other helmet videos there. We're also on Facebook and Twitter and other social media too, and you'll find all the details on the bottom of your screen. Now, this helmet here has really taken the Series 2 to another level. It's got improved aerodynamics. It's quieter as well. It's got a great feature of lifting up, which I'll come to in a second. But to begin with, let's have a look at the visor itself. Now the first thing, the tab is in the centre at the top as opposed to down here on the left hand side or at the bottom, so you can raise it and lower it. It's a little bit soft, a little bit squirmy, but it does the job of course. Next thing to look at of course with this visor is the amount of space you've got. It's a huge visor, so much vision around the front here to see up and down, but also to the sides too. You can really see a lot in your peripheral vision too, so it's a fantastic visor to have. Now, if you want to change the visor over, it's got a fairly simple system. You do feel like you're breaking it every time you try and take the visor off. But all you have to do is see this little tab here, push it in and give the visor a little bit of a wiggle at the same time. There you go. Out it comes. Do the same to the other side and the visor comes off. Give it a clean, change it over, whatever you want to do. And to get it back in, what I recommend is starting at the bottom using this tab. Line the tab up, push the tab in and then in it goes, it clicks into place and it's done. Now it's got a seal around here as well, so it will help to reduce the wind noise. But that's the visor in a nutshell. It's all in place, it does what it's supposed to do, will protect you from the UV rays as well. And we'll go to the party piece in just a second because now we've looked at the visor, it has got one more little visor to pay attention to and that's built in there. Now you can change the visor over like I say, so if you want to put a tinted one on you could do, but you don't need to with the helmet because it's got this internal sun visor. And what's really nice about these internal sun visors is there's enough clearance if you wear glasses so it's not gonna come down and touch the glasses that you're wearing. Also the pads have been designed so that you won't get any of that pressure building up on the side of your head that you used to get with old sorts of helmets too. So it's got the internal sun visor using this lever on the top, it's a little slider so you can move it into multiple positions as well. So that's it really with a visor or visors, there are two. Check out the product specification of course. And now let's move on to ventilation and then the party piece, the big finale. You've got a vent down here a chin vent. Now it opens and closes, will direct cold air across the inside of the visor just there, keeping it fog free and keeping you nice and alert. But you also have a vent here on the top as well. Open that up, that will direct air not just into one point but using clever channeling it will direct the cold air across your entire head and then the air would escape down the back here using lots of exhaust vents that you can't quite see from the outside. So it is full of features Let's come to that party piece then. It has a little lever at the bottom here at the front below the chin. You push it and when the visor's down, it lifts up a little tab and that lifts the visor up slightly. Then you move the whole thing forwards and up it comes and it continues and continues and continues and clicks into place here as well. And when that's in place and locked into place, it means you can now ride your bike with your helmet on as an open face helmet. Not many helmets out there have this option. It's a fantastic feature. So you have the choice of open face if you want to, or if you want to as well, simply push it back in and it becomes a full face helmet as well. So it is a fantastic feature. What a great, great addition. Now we've seen the outside, let's have a look at the inside. I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it all fully. It comes with a nice ratchet system very easy to use, they just click into place as you want to and lift off very easily too. You've also got this neck guard here, this neck protector, that stops the air getting in, it also stops noise getting in as well and keeps you nice and protected when you're riding along. Now the pads, they're moisture wicking, they will draw the moisture away from your skin keeping you nice and dry, but you can take them out as well. So if we start with this one, out this comes, this is actually the entire one I wanna show you, so I can remove this bit first of all. And this one here is for the top of your head. It's also the neck as well. And out it comes, gives it a little bit of a tug. There you go. This one here is your skull cap. Everything comes out in that one. You've got different materials too. So this is weather protective. 
and that will sit down on top of your neck. It's also got this nice little fabric on the inside, nice and soft. The entire lining is nice and soft as well, but it's also got so much padding there too. It really will protect you exactly where you need it as well. That's all one unit, which is really nice as well because sometimes this is a separate unit to this, but because it's all held together, it gives you even more protection and keeps you nice and cozy as well. That's the skull cap, but you can also see you have these two extra pads here. Give them a little bit of tug, one comes out, that's a cheek pad, that's one done. I'm going to show you the other side as well, because if you've got a shark tooth Bluetooth system or another kind of intercom system, you have this area here too. This has been designed, it's nice and soft, it's all been designed, so if you want to, you could put your speaker system in there. Got a little pocket available for you, a little area, a little recess, I suppose, is the best way of putting it. And then... If you have a look at the pad itself, exactly where the area is too, you've got a thinner part of material. So if the speaker is there, the sound can get through when you're riding along, which is a fantastic feature as well. So as you're riding along with that reduced noise, you can hear a lot of what's going on around you and if someone's talking to you as well. Now with all the pads out, you can also see all that channeling I was talking about with the air direction, all that air flow. As the air goes in, it gets circulated around your entire head using this channeling with all these grooves. In it goes, around your head, keeps you nice and cool, and all that cold air comes out the back as well, using these little areas that you can't quite see from there, these little areas to direct all the cold air out too. So it is a fantastic helmet. It's a full face helmet if you want it to be, or it is an open face helmet too. You can wash the pads, you can put them back in, keeping it feeling nice and fresh. And it also comes with this bag as well with a nice softer lining to give it a bit of a clean and to stop it getting scratched when you're not using it. Now remember that any orders of £25 or more from Bike Nation do get free delivery. Size is the most important thing with a helmet so do have a look at the sizing guide and if you've got any questions give the Bike Nation team a call because they'll be more than happy to help. There are loads of other videos on the Bike Nation channel. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're all over social media and I'll be back again with another video.